Um, individually, I hope to make beam and floor finals. Um, they're kind of my pet events and yeah, they're looking quite good at the moment. So yeah, hopefully I can make beam and floor finals. And then as a team, obviously top eight and we came six last time. So hopefully we can equal or better that. You went to Beijing, mm -hmm. obviously four years ago. What did you learn from that experience? Um, well, yeah, like you said, that was like my first Olympics and the whole experience of the village life and the dining hall and then going to or from the competition venue. Um, that's the first time I'd kind of experienced any of that stuff. And yeah, now going in again four years later, I know what that experience is like. And even though it is kind of a bit of a cliche, it is just another competition. And even though it only comes around every four years and it has the name, the Olympic Games, it is another competition. You have to go out there and you have to show the same routines that you would show at a competition a week before or a week later, yeah. Does it take some of the pressure off though, having been to an Olympics before? You, you know about opening ceremonies, you, you've been in that big um, uh, Games Village, you know, mm -hmm. thousands, thousands of athletes, that, that won't be new to you this time around. Yeah, that's going to be very helpful that it's not new and not kind of daunting because looking around all the other athletes, you're like, whoa, that's such and such. And yeah, that's going to be a lot different this time. And um, yeah, kind of going in there with the rest of the team and we've all been training together for so long now, it's going to be a lot easier. You're already a world champion heading into, into London. Mm -hmm. What does that success you've had in the last couple of years, what does that do for your confidence ahead of the London Games? It definitely gives me more confidence knowing that I'm up there with the rest of the world and like I have a high star value so I can compete competitively with the rest of the world where previously I had a like average star value so I could compete with the rest of the world but not really competitively so yeah this time around going in as an actual competitor is quite a nice feeling. How important to say a gymnast is, is funding and support, you know there's, there's government support, the AIS that you work closely with, WACE mm -hmm. and, and Gymnastics Australia, how, how important is that sort of support to say a gymnast and, and furthering your career? Oh, the support that we receive from everyone is phenomenal, like without it we wouldn't be able to travel to all these international competitions and then compete and get the experience to become a world champion or then to be able to go to the Olympic Games or Commonwealth Games and just back at home with all the support that we have at home with um, nutrition and psych and school stuff and all that around us that we don't really have to think about as much so we can just focus on our training is yeah it's been so helpful for us.